What's going on everybody, it's Jay Wilson and weird moving live video tonight, but I'm gonna be cleaning a canister filter and I was supposed to have a sidekick, but last minute he decided that he doesn't wanna do it yet, which is fine, but the show will go on and we will clean the canister and we will talk about the importance of putting the right media where it needs to go and why canister filter maintenance is important regardless of what people think and what they say or what they've experienced, there is methods to what we do, right? So let me get a couple of things squared away here. Boop, live chat, good. Um, Ruben Rivera, what's going on? So we're gonna be changing some water here in the um, Neptunian Cube USA. I believe it's, let's see, it's like 80 gallons. Uh, Tiffany, how's it going? But. We're gonna do a drain of this about 50%. We're gonna turn off everything and then I'm gonna pull out the space echo. Do you see this, this cord management? This was not done by me. This was done by Radical Reefs. <laughs> Come on, Ken Carey. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart the space echo. We're gonna go through it and then um, we're gonna discuss it. So I'll go outside, I'll do the whole thing. So first what I do before I do the water change is power that bad boy off. And then I'm gonna grab exactly what I need. I have pretty much everything prepped as it is, uh, but I'll grab the bucket. I got the boot on and I'm making everything as easy as possible. So I do use the Ultra Zero One because, well, it's a CJ product, but more importantly, even if, honestly, even if it wasn't, it is amazing at doing water changes. So uh, bear with me as I do this one-handed. I need to grab the right side of the hose so that I don't spill water everywhere. And then I simply drain it into the sink because it's the easiest for me to do. Um, otherwise, if I had a different setup, I would do it that way. And inside the sink, simple as that. Now, if you have questions as I go along, please do not hesitate to ask them. I'm just kind of going through my maintenance procedure on what I do with an aquarium. And then kind of towards the end, I'll discuss some of the things that I'm going to be doing in terms of my office slash fish room. Jay, I've had a new 220 running for a month now and woo, lost it. And what would you recommend for a water change? How many gallons? Um, I, it really all depends on what fish you're keeping, how much, what type of filtration. You know, everybody's got their own specific set that they say, right? Gotta do 50%. I do 90% because that's the best. Uh, you know, honestly, if, if you're looking to do massive water changes, then your fish are probably pretty big themselves. And you're looking to really reduce those nitrates dramatically. Uh, but if you're really taking care of your system and you have proper filtration and the right stock load for that aquarium, you shouldn't have to do so many water changes and so massive. So in a, in a 200 gallon and you had a couple of nice canisters on there, I don't know, I'd probably do, let's say somewhere along the lines of about 30% and then go from there. So for this aquarium, um, I typically do 50% because I've been trying to clear it up. I did not rinse the sand when I put it all together again. I did not rinse the rocks. Those are actually Frodo stone, which is really cool from, I got those from Aquarium Design Group in Houston. Uh, but I moved the Darden eye over, put them in there, and I've got uh, one shell dweller and two catfish and a placosimus. So let me drop this bad boy in here. Pretty simple, and it is very tiny. And you've probably seen videos of me doing this before. Uh, but this is all part of getting the canister off because I like to do everything all at one time. So I just drop it right here, little bubbly bubbly. And you could put it anywhere. Just do it right there, huh? Nice little ditty, little ditty there. And then I'm gonna plug her in. And then I'm gonna let it ride out. Now I do use um, water from the hose directly. Now I know some folks don't do that. They have water pre-made, uh, but I do drop in some dechlorinator uh, to get it all rocking. Gotta make sure this doesn't fly out. Woo wee, there we go. So, and you can see the flow. Pretty 
pretty good. Uh, a couple questions were asked, and when you're doing this on a phone, it kind of jacks up. Jay, I bought a CJ Shark ADV600. It came with a little pipe that won't fit on the outflow and isn't pictured or mentioned in directions. Know what it's for. If it is loose, it is directional flow. Um, it will fit on there. If you're talking about the hose, which is a small little tube, it sits on the little hole at the top, and that's the Venturi system. So that increases oxygen if you stick that tube above the water, and you turn the dial, you can get maximum uh, air or more water to air ratio, uh, very similar to any other Venturi system. It's just built right into that internal filter. Um, so once I do that, that's it. It starts draining. We're rocking and rolling. So as far as disconnecting the Space Echo, this is going to be a nightmare. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to set it up so you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, if it's the gray looking piece, it connects on the front and it kind of flaps around. Uh, it's directional. It, it, it doesn't stay straight up. It's more designed for the flow at the bottom. I typically don't use it, but it has a hood that goes across it. Um, if not, private message me and we'll get it looked at. But I'm gonna set you guys up here real quick. See if you can see in there. And then I'm gonna go right to town, trying to figure out where Ken Carey did my little ditty here. You can see, oh, my boot's in the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the quick disconnect. If I can get my hand back here. Good. Disconnected. And then I'll pull this bad boy out. Look at that little guy. Huh? It's a little guy. And then uh, cord management needs to be done, but I um, happened to fall out of the attic and uh, it, didn't, it didn't play very well. But this is the Space Echo in all of its entirety. This is a Space Echo Plus 300. And technically, it was designed for um, a turtle tank with specifics to it. So it's got some really cool tubes that'll shoot straight down. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat. That means a lot. Uh, but this can also be ran on planted aquariums, saltwater aquariums, uh, freshwater aquariums of any, any sort as long as it's a certain size. So I was using this as a supplement to the whale 500 which i absolutely love so let me go ahead and carry this bad boy out and i can do that with one hand how awesome is that but what i really like about the space echo hold on let me ask if liam's ready hey liam do you want to help daddy do the filter nope okay i'll be outside so once i get this bad boy out i'll show you how easy it is to disconnect the hood, what I like to call the hood, and then I rinse it with fresh water. <sighs> Others don't. Others will say that that's not a good practice, but it's okay, honestly, it, it really is. You know, since I'm not gonna be inside, I'm gonna let that siphon run. So water will still come out, but I'll plug it back in once I get there. Boop, boop, boop. So, uh, somebody just said that they keep their canisters in a tub underneath their aquarium. That is absolutely a great thing to do. Matter of fact, that Neptunian cube is sealed all the way inside. So I've got a nice tray where water... Yeah? Water can just sit straight in there uh, acting like a tub and it's also got some dampening stuff. So uh, let me go over this real quick. So it literally is clip, 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 clip. That easy, right? And then to get it off, I don't know if I could do that with one hand. So I'm gonna set you guys back down again. You can see my, my freshly mowed grass. But you pop it off. And then there's some things that you should probably be doing, right? You should be checking this, right? Check the impeller. Uh, you're gonna check all this stuff for maintenance and you're gonna check the O-rings to make sure everything is good. And I say that because we don't do that often enough and then when something bad happens, we get very upset. 
So now I'm gonna show you something even cooler because I, I just think it's, it's fun playing with it. It almost looks like a, like a nuclear centrifuge. Look, just, <laughs> that's it. So very simple design, very compact. We're gonna dump this water out. Yeah. Look at that, look at that grossness. So the filter does its job, right? And then this is as simple as just twisting these off, which I'll set back up. And then I'm gonna clean this real fast. So if you have questions, ask away and I'll get back to them in a second. But I'm gonna clean this bad boy off, rinse it out. And then honestly, we're gonna get it hooked right back up to the aquarium. So when people say that they don't do this often, that's not good. At least check it, right? And what I mean by check it is, take it apart, check the impeller, check to make sure that everything, look at that, is not impeding your flow. Because if flow is being impeded, what happens? It starts to degrade the motor inside the canister filter and that's not good. So for me, I've tested, I know what my water is coming out of the supply. So, ooh, that was too much. That was just way too much. There we go. Get the little hose action. I'm just gonna do a little rinse. There we go. And that's gonna get all the chunky bits off the biomedia. Now for these, I used specific media that came with it because I want it to test it all with that media. But it's just a quick rinse. I don't go crazy in a detail type thing. And the idea is just to make sure flow is still coming through. You ready? No. You're not ready? No. Somebody just showed up over here. So we're just gonna spray these little bad boys here. And you can get replacement foam. I like to just clean it up. And these are two different uh, PPI of foam. Uh, you can buy them in a kit or you can make them yourself. It's completely up to you. Ooh, look at the little spider. Let's put, let's put him back. Ah, we're gonna leave him there. Uh, he's under my boot, dude. So why do we clean these, Liam? Because why? Yeah, we have to do it because we're filming. But what if we didn't film? Do we still have to do it? Yeah. Yeah, why? They're spiders. They're spiders. Look, that's all right that they're spiders. So once we're all done, I only wash mine with tank water. You can do that as well. I'm not telling you you have to do it this way, but this is the way I've been doing it since I started. And it works for me. I'm not killing anything because I also use other things you got water i also use other things when i add the water back into the aquarium and that's going to be my dechlorinator and some uh fritzyme 7 which is a bacteria that if i'm going to do a major cleaning like this which i'm considering major um, i will add that back so that's literally it that was very fast and so fast that this guy showed up you say hello to everybody? What is that? Uh, what's your favorite fish? Mm, mm, colorful fish. Colorful fish? Yeah. What about the fish in the tank, in daddy's tank in the living room? What's your favorite fish in there? Mm, mm, catfish and colorful fish. The catfish and colorful fish. How awesome is that? So I got some debris around here. I'm gonna get that out. And then Liam, do you want to tell them anything about what's good about cleaning your filters? No, don't spray them. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. So the big thing in terms of doing maintenance and getting children involved wherever he's going, there he goes, is I don't push. If he wants to spray, he can spray. If he doesn't want to spray, he doesn't have to spray. So should we set up more aquariums, Liam? No. Why not? Because it's bad. Setting up aquariums is bad. Who says that? Definitely not me. I am. He is. He's telling us that. 
So the, like I said, the importance of doing this is to make sure you're maintaining exactly what you bought. Now, it's the same thing, I guess I'll relate it to a vehicle. If you bought a vehicle and you didn't do any brake changes, you didn't do any oil changes, trans, transmission, fluid flushes, things of that nature, what happens? The car degrades, right? And you could potentially impact not only that, that vehicle warranty, but the investment that you made. You gonna open that for us? No. You got it? No. Okay, well we need to get inside because we have to finish the water change. So when you're doing this, it is ideal and it is key. Wow, you just really smashed that around, huh? Okay, well, I don't have to put it in the bucket. You want to shut the door? No, no. You're going to leave it open for all the bugs to come in? No, don't say that. I'll leave a crack. Just leave it a crack? Yeah. Okay. Don't say that. <laughs> so then I'll get it hooked back up. What's neat about this is the siphon is held. So... I don't know if, I mean, I've used FX6s before and what's up? Do you have anything you want to talk about in, regarding this aquarium? No? Okay, we gone. <laughs> so that's kind of the idea behind maintaining an aquarium. And so what I was driving at before little man stuck his head in there was it holds the siphon. Um, now, if you use like an, an FX6 before, it's got a, I don't know what they call it, but it's got a computer on board. Hey, you wanna hold this for a second? Hold it just like that. There we go. Liam's gonna hold it for us. And uh, it'll automatically, whoop. <laughs> it'll automatically uh, keep the siphon for you and, and pump it back out. Hey, that's not nice. Tell them you're sorry. We're being a, a big three-year-old right now. Uh, somebody asked you a question, Liam. Come over here, please. Somebody said, what is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Mm, purple, blue. Well, no, come over here and tell them their names, not their color. Michael is blue. And Who's blue? My, the, that color. Who's blue? He has swords. Mm, I don't know. Rhymes with Bacamardo. Leonardo. Okay. Leonardo and okay. So Leonardo. you like Michelangelo. Leonardo and Raphael and Michelangelo and Donatello. So we like we like them all, but who's your favorite out of all of them? All of them. All of them? Yeah. But if you can only pick one, who would it be? All right, let's see if he knows the weapons. Uh, what kind of weapons does Michelangelo have? Okay, uh, and what kind of weapons does Raphael have? Uh, I don't know. Remember the, the, the ones that he holds in his hands? Yeah. It rhymes with ties. Ties. No, size. Size. Yep, and what kind of weapon does Leonardo have? Nope. He has katana. Sword. Yep. And then Donatello has stick. stick, but a bow staff, right? Bow staff. Yep. And who's who's your favorite character besides the turtles? Name some other characters. Uh, tiger. Uh huh. And who else? Uh, who's a crocodile? Oh, little head. Uh huh. I like little and what the what are they called? Metalhead. Something else. Well, who's the rhinoceros? Uh, uh, rock. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? His name is Rock Daddy. Uh huh. And who's Piggly Oink? Oh, Piggly Oink. Who's that? What's his real name? Uh, Bebop. Bebop. Kid knows more about Ninja Turtles than I do. So sorry, we got sidetracked, but I thought that that was pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Pew, pew, pew. So now that that's all going. That actually did its thing. Go ahead. I'm gonna come back. Okay, go outside and come back. Thanks for letting us know. And so I'm gonna pull the Ultra Zero out and then we're gonna rock and roll. But I greatly appreciate you folks coming out today to check out kind of what I do with my canister maintenance and why I do what I do. Uh, but you know, fish keeping is one of those cool things where it's like, and I'm not taking away from artists, but it's like artwork, right? 
Everybody has their own technique. Everybody has their own style. And it doesn't mean that what you do is wrong. Uh, it just means that you're doing it in a different way to get a very similar result. Now, sometimes there's a lot of trial and error and we end up not doing a good job by trying to do it our own way, but time has proven there are multiple methods to do the same thing in the aquarium hobby. And so what I do may not work for you. What you do may not work for me and vice versa, but at the end of the day, as long as the best interest is the animal, the fish, the frog, the oxalotl, the shrimp, the child, then it's okay. So, okay, what do you know about Art J? Tell me more. Oh, listen to Priscilla. Priscilla is a fantastic artist, by the way. If you don't know, now you know. We're going to fill up the aquarium, Liam. You coming? So what I like about this is I literally just run it in here. Huh? Okay, shut it. Oh, you got to shut it. And now we just argue about who's going to shut the door. <laughs> so I put it in. Everything works in this new house the way I wanted it to. That's good. You can leave it just like that. So I use the hose directly from outside, pump the water in, and then this is what else I do. So I'll take complete because there's tons of oxygen. I remember complete or prime will remove some oxygen. So if it's a low oxygen environment, um, be careful. But I'm pumping a ton of oxygen in and I'm only putting enough in for the amount of water I'm putting back in, okay? And then I will add some Fritzyme 7 here, but I have to go get it and it's gonna be a process. So we're gonna do that in a few. But once this is up and running, I'll be able to turn it right on and we will just rock and roll, right? Oh, uh, we're, we're serious. So is there anything you want to tell them about fish keeping that you learned? No. <laughs> he was so excited uh, to tell everyone all of the things. Let me go back to see some questions. Do, 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 do. Shredder's my favorite villain. No, I like Shredder too. You like Shredder too? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess we like Shredder too. I'm probably getting a canister filter soon. It's just scary because what if it leaks? Well, what if anything leaks? What if the aquarium leaks? What if, what? you know, what if your hot water heater leaks? What if, yeah. woo, be careful, dad's foot, dude. That was pretty sweet. All right, hold on, don't shut it yet. Yeah. Okay, can you do daddy a favor? Can you, um, we're gonna plug this in real quick. Do, 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 and then do me a favor. Can you get all of the wires back in there for me? Down at the bottom. Gotta teach him young. All right, do, do, should we put the purple rag in there? Or do we need it? Yes, we do. Okay, what do we need it for? I would need it for cleaning. For cleaning, okay. So we gotta use it to clean. Um, so I there's... Have, I want water and I want white. Okay, hold on one moment. You can go ahead and do that on the white part. So as far as being scared that it's gonna leak, there's potential for leakage anywhere, right? So as long as you're purchasing a product that you're comfortable, you know exactly where it was made and you like the high quality, yeah, you are reducing the risk of it leaking. However, you can put in some precautions like some folks said earlier, you can put it inside a like Tupperware bin, uh, sit it right inside and then if it does leak, it'll leak into there. Um, what's neat about the filters that I have, if I notice a leak, I can pull that quick disconnect okay. and it immediately everybody, stops the water flow. Everybody, I want to get up there to break all the water up on Okay, well, why don't you go find your stool and then you can do that. Deal? I can find it. So I can go okay, well, go ask Wendy to help you find the stool. I don't know. Check her office, the room. So when you do that, you're gonna find the insurance piece that works for you. For me, uh, I was talking about that earlier, I didn't show you. This is actually all sealed in here. So I have a lot of disbursement of water that can happen. Everybody, you found it? All right, we're gonna set this up. So this is managing aquariums with young children. Thank you. You got your rag? No. Cause you're up there without a rag. Here you go. Oh no, you're not gonna spray up there. 
So I do let him do quite a few things for him to learn what is good and what is not good, even if I know that there's potential that it's going to be a waste. Um, I'll still allow him to do it just so that he can learn that maybe this wasn't the best way to do it. So for right now, he's cleaning the glass without a rag, right? And he'll know very quickly that he'll need the rag once he wants it to dry. So once this is done, I'll literally just turn the power switch back on and then bang. Uh, somebody just asked how my ankle's feeling. It's there. Um, I haven't consulted with a surgeon yet in person, but I have with a couple of different doctors online. And overall, I am in favor. Hold on one moment, okay? Thank you, sir. Um, I'm in favor of allowing it to heal on its own. And And once we go from there, we'll see if, if I am going to need surgery. I'm just uh, also waiting for the consult from the VA. So everybody, he saw catfish. So you're spraying a lot of water, but you're not wiping it down. So at some point, you're going to have to wipe it, correct? I'm going to wipe it. Okay, so what are you going to need to wipe it? Uh, rag. So you probably should have brought the rag with you when you got up on the stool? Yeah. Okay. So you want to go grab that rag? Thank you. Uh, probably not. That's, that's how that works. What's up, Jay? My high door aquarium circulation pump gave up in my 125. Any recommendations for replacements? Of course. Uh, a CJ Extreme or Voyager. Follow the whale. What is it? CJ Follow the Whale. CJ Follow the Whale. Uh, yeah, so as far as the high door goes, just look for gallons per hour and then check out uh, CJ Extreme. That's my favorite line of what we produce. And there are Voyagers, they get much bigger, much, much bigger. So let me scroll back to see what we got for questions. Do, 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 do. I have chicken nuggets, let's have some dinner. I have chicken nuggets. I thought you said you wanted a hot dog. Chicken nuggets is off, uh, I think, I think. Oh, chicken nuggets, he'd rather have steak, he said. Um, let's see, I like steak. you like steak? Do, 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 do. I use Fritzzyme 7.2, big inspiration, love your channel. Thank you for being you. Well, thank you for watching. Do, do, do. I only wash mine with tank water. All right, so I think I'm pretty close. I thought the tap water kills off beneficial bacteria. So that's a question I can answer. The amount of bacteria that's going to die off there is, ah! is not a lot. So, and what's up? Buddy, I need a rag to wipe this down. You just had it, what happened? Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So you have to remember that there are certain bacterias in your aquarium that consume ammonia. So if you have high levels of ammonia in your tap water, then that's okay. If you have chloramine and chloramine, then you should pay attention to the levels just in case because there is a lot of bacteria that will die off really quickly. But the amount of bacteria that you're gonna rinse off from doing that little bit of filter maintenance with two filters I have on here. I'm redundant, so I will always have two filters on this aquarium. And by doing that, I'm saving myself any issues that may happen. So once I get it running again, it'll catch right up. What's that, sir? You're gonna spray me? No. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. <laughs> so, and that's pretty much it for when I do maintenance. I'll clean off the glass, um, but I don't get down and dirty when it comes to like stirring up the sand or anything. Uh, occasionally I'll take a spatula and kind of wiggle it. And as I'm wiggling it, um, it'll kind of kick up all the, the detritus and poop. Um, do you prefer canisters or a sump? I do, because they're much easier to take care of for me. There's less evaporation happening. Um, and the noise level is less with the specific canisters that I use, right? It's pretty quiet. So, Overall, I do enjoy canister filters. Doesn't mean that there's not a place for sumps or that canisters are better than sumps. It just means that I prefer canisters and the closed loop opposed to an open system. That's just the way I like it. That's it. All right, should we fill it up some more? No. Uh, you sure? No. Maybe a little bit more? I think we could turn it on. Let's go turn it on. So I literally just flipped the switch back on. Um, and that's it. She is fully operational. Whoop. There we go. Lights are back on. Doo-doo is being moved around. 
And the aquarium, look at this. I've got to cover this actually though. That's better than ever. That's better than ever? It's better than ever. What did you find? A tube. A tube? So it'll be a long stream if we're counting, if we're counting rocks in here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's kicking up some duty. Thank you very much for the super chat. It means a lot. And there she goes. So. Go, go, Godzilla. Wee! Godzilla. <laughs> go, go, Godzilla. So let me leave you with a little. Okay. Let me leave you with a little note. We're going we're gonna to tell them something real quick, Okay. So I'm gonna have you just hold on a moment. Deal? No, I wanna do that. No, this is done, but we're gonna hold on a moment, okay? No, I'm gonna get up. Hold on one second. Daddy's gotta move this outside. So whatever you do, whatever it is you do, you have to understand that sometimes, no matter how hard you try, hold on, hold on. No matter how hard you try, that outcome that you were hoping for may not be the right one. It may not. But what I can tell you is just because it didn't work out the first time does not mean that you stop trying exactly what you are trying to achieve. I will fill that up for you as soon as this is over, okay? Yeah, we're not gonna be shooting that in the house. Not a good idea. So don't give up just because you tried once and it didn't work out. That's not what it's about. It's about trying and learning from that process and ultimately achieving the outcome that you were looking for. It may take five, six tries. Shoot, it may take a hundred tries. I mean, look at him. He's trying and trying to get me to fill it up. But I already gave the answer, right? As soon as this is over, we'll fill it up. Correct? No. Yes. No, it's not. Yes, that's the best answer I can give. No, <laughs> so I hope that whatever it is you are trying to achieve, that you learn from your mistakes and you work harder. And at some point you get to that end goal, that house, that car, that financial stability, that aquarium, or maybe it's a relationship with a friend. I hope you get there. And um, that's it. Liam, do you want to tell him goodbye? You want to come over here? Okay. Oh, we're coming. We're going to tell them, you know what's next, and then we're going to point and say holla, okay? Goodbye. You know what's next. Goodbye. Holla. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>